Today we'll be showing the last little bit of the process from the video we were doing the other day. We're going to be finishing this maple syrup on the wood. It's getting really close right now. You see them bubbles? They're starting to stick together. That's a really good indication that we're just about to the final bit of it. We will check it with a dip tube and a hydrometer and then we'll filter it. Say, mm. spin it right at the hot line. Okay, we're there. Wow, dump that back in. So that's about a done gallon right there. Now we're going to try out our new vacuum filter. Open this vacuum. filter we're sucking through this filter in probably less than a minute and we've actually got four layers in this so it's going to be a lot cleaner than the two layers that we normally do through the cone filter so we're getting down to the last little bit right now this is the first time that we ran this this was built this week by my students at school uh, special thanks to Ryan for all the effort that she put into this. So that's the last little bit sucking through right there. That filter in the bottom that's black was Snow White when we started. We have three pre-filters in there and one main Orlon filter. thermometer right now says about 190 we'll call it 190 so this particular gauge is adjustable on the back there's a screw and all I'm gonna do is turn this dial until we get 190 that should be calibrated to what the liquid is inside Right now that we are too dense we got to bring all this back down so we're gonna put this back in we ended up taking the double boiler off it was just not getting it up to temperature but we'll use the double boiler to keep the dip cup warm so we're gonna take some clean water out of the Berkey. I didn't have any sap. We ended up boiling it all. So we'll add some water back to it.
Give that a little spin, make sure there's no air bubbles under it. And if you hop in here and look, you can just see our red line is bobbing right on the meniscus of that syrup. That is all done. So we're packing this in the jars right now. It's extremely hot, it's 208. But we are gonna let it cool down to 180 before we actually put the lids on it. The bubbles to let it settle out. <laughs> so we just reached 180 on them. Our jar lids are nice and dry. And we'll cap each one of them off. And that's that. When they cool and suck down, I'll go through and tighten all the lids on, but they're just snug right now to hold the lids in place.